Hello, Team Scorpio. It's Empire 333 here. We're doing your love tarot reading. First, we'll be getting into Rome, I mean, career and work and all that stuff. And then we will be getting into um, love romance, okay? So as I was tapping into your energy, Scorpio, what I'm feeling is, is that you have an offer coming towards your way. For some of you, you want to change your job or you want to get a new job. Maybe you're unemployed right now. Um, and Spirit's advice here is that don't get emotional over it. Some of you have been trying to get this offer for a long time. I'm hearing don't get emotional over it. And also, you know what? I'm, I'm seeing the magician, okay, in my clairvoyance. So what it's telling me is like, I know some of you for a long time have been told like, okay, if you want to manifest something, it's not just about doing the work in the physical, right? They're always like, oh, you know, you have to do energetically first and you've been listening to all that stuff. And Spirit is saying it has to be a balance of both, okay? So you have to get into the energy of what you want, okay? Getting ready for what you want and being clear, clear about what you want and then taking action, okay? So all that stuff that you heard in the past, I, I'm hearing like you've been hearing, uh, God, Mercury retrograde is not, you know, my speech is just like, what? Um, whatever you've been hearing that is, you know, um, telling you like, oh, don't be so aggressive. Don't be so assertive with, you know, it's not about the physical, whatever. Spirit's just saying you need a balance, okay? So 10 of coins here. Um, it's coming, Scorpio, okay? Whatever stability financial stability you want, you're going to get that offer. I hope you know that. Okay, Spirit, how can it come sooner? I'm getting five. Okay, so it could be five days, five weeks from now, or in May. Okay, May. We're already in May. Look at this, five of coins. You're getting out of the five of coins, Scorpio. If you've been struggling for money, you've been struggling to, you know, make ends meet, paying your bills, I'm getting, there's going to be the biggest transformation with that. Five to the 10. You're coming out of um, feeling like nobody's supporting you, like, okay, nobody takes care of me. I have to be independent. Maybe you're taking care of people. I really like this energy. <clears throat> the struggle is over. The struggle will be over very soon, I promise you, Scorpio. This is exactly what I was getting. And here you are, okay? For some of you, Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio too, so I'm telling you. You might cry of joy, okay? I know that does, that doesn't come to us easily. Like, I always ask people, like, what does crying of joy even mean? Like, I don't know. That's never happened to me, Scorpio. Has it happened to you? I would love it to happen to me so I know what people are talking about, right? But your ships are coming in. I'm telling you, you will get the resources that you need, okay? You're going to have stability. This is the king of coins and the three of wands here. Your ships are coming. Expect you know what I'm getting for some of you? I know this is not going to resonate with for all of you when it comes to a job or somebody giving you an offer. This is like a job opportunity is what I'm hearing right here. For most of you, it's a job opportunity, okay? Um, I just heard excellence. Wow, okay. There could be a person. Um, it's a masculine figure, okay? So this could be somebody random. This could be someone who you never would have thought could help you, okay? Get you a job, connect you to the right people, the right resources, the right connection, Scorpio. And this person could help you. So make sure to um, don't leave any stone unturned, okay? Ask people. Tell people what you're doing, right? Tell people. People you trust. 
there's a masculine figure here. I don't know who it is, okay? And it's not somebody who you would think that would find help you find that specific like job that you want, but you never know who people know, right? So mingle. Ask. Ask this person. Like, oh, you know, just tell them, like, I'm trying to do this or I'm trying to do that. Some of you are going back to school. Some of you are like changing careers. So it's really important that you let people know. People you trust, of course. You don't want to let everybody know because you know how that goes with us, right? But um, you're you're going to get somebody. Like you're going to get someone to help you. Some of you, okay? That's what I'm getting. And um, yes. You're starting a new cycle, honey. You are starting a new cycle. I love this energy for you, Scorpio. Um, yeah, new cycle. New cycle with work. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles, okay? Like, I can't make this up. The intuition is strong. The cards are totally reading us, okay? So you're going to get that job that you want. And you're going to start a new cycle. And this is going to, you know what I'm seeing, Scorpio? Some of you might just be like, okay, I just want a job that pays the bills. Or, you know, that I can like, you know, get that home that I want or whatever. But I'm seeing whatever you get is beyond that. Whatever you get, okay, I'm getting for a lot of you in May, okay? Or you might hear, hear about it after May 5th. Oh my God, because May 5th is the the, the lunar eclipse. eclipse. Oops, did I? So um, you might hear about it after that, okay? So make sure that... What else? We'll get into love in a sec, Scorpio. You, I mean, this is going to be monumental for you. Whatever job you're getting, this, like, very soon, Scorpio. Oh my God, it's messy. Very soon, Scorpio, whatever job that you're going to get, it's going to bring you recognition, okay? It's going to further advance your skills, okay? For those of you especially who want to change careers, you're releasing all that heavy burden you've been feeling, okay? So for some of you, it's been like two years, I'm getting. You've been in a financial rut. It's going. It's gone, honey. You're releasing all of it, okay? You're going to feel so much lighter. And um, Spirit is saying keep your eye on the target, Scorpio, okay? Whatever target that is for you, this is obviously not a personal reading, but some of you have to clear your crown chakra because you have so much going through your head. <clears throat> oh my God. I, this, I'm hearing, oh my God. Okay. Spirit is helping you take flight. If you're feeling down right now, spirit is going to help you take flight. Surrender. Okay. Surrender. If you're like feeling down and out, you're like, nobody wants me, nobody is realizing my talents or whatever it is, tell, ask spirit to take over, okay? Whoever you think spirit is, that's up to you. So I'm going to see what's coming in romantically for you, Scorpio. Spirit, what is coming in for my Scorpio? Somebody's very physically attracted to you, Scorpio. It's like off the charts. Oh, I'm going to pick up advice too with a different card. Wow. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. Wow. Hold on, guys. Wow. Okay. Look at you, darling. Shining in your glory. 
So Scorpio, there is a change here when it has to do with your love life, your romantic life. I don't know who this is. This is somebody who is, you know, gender does not matter. Keep that in mind. This is a queen of cups energy, okay? Someone here is sweet. They're kind, okay? And this person is depressed at this time, okay? Somebody is going through a severe depression, disappointment. They're grieving you, okay? Now, some of you might think like, oh, no, this can't be the person from like 10 years ago. I don't see that. I see someone here that you feel very energetically connected to, okay? This person finds you very mysterious, okay? Um, they know you're some kind of a healer, okay? So I don't know what you do for work. I don't know what you do, you know, whatever, in general, but they know that you are very, uh, let's just say, spiritually skilled, okay? They find you mysterious. But this person somehow wronged you. I don't know what they did, okay? Because there's some sort of an injustice here. This person made a impulsive move when it comes to you and them. It was really weird, okay? So some of you could have just met someone and you were like, you know, recently. This is recent. This is not past, okay, guys? So this is not your past. Toxic X is what spirit is saying. It's not the narcissist. It's not the narc, okay? Um, this is someone who... They made the wrong judgment call. Okay, they made the wrong choice. So I'm getting like this person could have just abrupt, abruptly left your life. It was shocking. It was shocking for you, Scorpio. But this person wants to come back. Or this is someone who just cut off communication. You're like, why? Maybe you got ghosted, Scorpio. Tell me more about this person. Yeah, Emperor, okay, so this could be Aries energy. It doesn't have to be an Aries, guys, the energy. So you could have met a masculine Scorpio, okay, a masculine energy, and you were like, oh, my God, this is, wow, like, you know, this is, yeah, wow. And this, all of a sudden, this person, like, they stopped communication, um, there's some sort of a stalemate between you two. There's like indecision with this person. And I want to tell you something, Scorpio, why that is. And it's because this person, um, they're very wounded. Okay. They're wounded. So what happened was, is that this person put their walls up. You might have been thinking, oh my God, this is going somewhere, right? They put their walls up. And what I'm seeing here is that because of that, they made a very impulsive, like I said, they made an impulsive decision to like stop this, okay? Stop this connection, okay? What are their next moves? Okay, some of you are like, who is this person? What's a good spirit? Tell me, give me a sign of this person. So spirit, so spirit, Scorpio knows who this person is. For some of you, you met this person while traveling. You were all, you were in your car. You met them um, through some type of, counseling maybe they're a teacher um you connected with them because you felt like this soul energy okay look at this this is the ultimate pair right here so it's like okay this per when you met this person it was so energetically intense scorpio that you couldn't even believe it yourself you know 
So how else would they know who this is? They like the color blue or they have something blue. They could have a blue car. They could have a blue, I don't know. What else people have blue, okay? There's a lot of um, signs here. There's Aries, Cancer, Taurus, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, see this person, I'm telling you, um, this is somebody who's, who's going within right now, Scorpio. Some of you are like, I don't care, this person. But I'm letting you know, this person is working on themselves right now, okay? This person does see you, does see a future with you. Whoever this person is, even though they might seem, you're probably thinking like, oh, this person left. They're probably a player, okay? I'm not getting that. So I'm going to see what this person's next actions are. Are they coming back, Spirit? What is this person's next actions? For Scorpio, what is this person's next actions? Oh. Okay. Wow. Okay. This person, there's a lot of chaos going in their life right now, Scorpio. Okay. So this person is um, very withdrawn, but they are working on themselves. They have some sort of fears that they need to get rid of. I feel like this person could have been cheated on in the past. Okay, they could have been betrayed in some way. So there's a devil energy here. This this is fears, okay? Um, they have a lot of deep feelings. You might have triggered this person when you met them or whatever the last time you both spoke or you saw each other. Um, for some of you, you met this person online is also what I just got, okay? But this person... No, Scorpio, that you mean business, okay? For those of you, you're like, you you made it known to this person, you want something solid, you want something stable, you want support, like you want a supportive relationship, you know, you don't want... I just heard part-time lover, so you don't want a part-time lover, you want a full-time lover, okay? <laughs> this person knows that. And I see that, you know, that this is what they're in their, in their mind, okay? So I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. Let's see. You know, they really regret Scorpio. They really regret that, like, I feel like this person in you met when, like, thing, you triggered them somehow, okay? which you were supposed to is what I'm hearing, but you're going to, um, like they're, this person, when they do their self-reflection and they heal all this crap because they definitely are in some type of chaotic energy from the past that is lingering around them, they're gonna come towards you, okay? And ignite a spark because I feel like this person is really passionate towards you yeah they're just in their mind they have to you know, for some of you this person is has to have aries placements man they do okay because this person they do wish to be with you they really do but they got to get out of their mind they feel stuck so i have to tell you there's something karmically going on with this person they are going through a karmic cycle of closing okay and once they, you know, fix that, they get rid of the people and the energies that are around them. For some of you, it's work. Work is playing a very heavy toll on this person. I don't know what's going on in their job. But this person is going to come towards you. 
okay? And they, um, they want to heal this. And also, if you realize this is a pair too. So this is your soulmate. If you haven't met this person, you will meet them, Scorpio, okay? I do timeless readings. Yeah, see? This is confirmation, okay? This is somebody that your soul is aligning you with, okay? So your soul, I just heard, is front and center. I don't know what you did, Scorpio, but your soul is front and center is what I'm getting. So both of you... This person, okay, is definitely a part of your wishes and goals, okay? I'm going to put this down because they don't let me show the lover's card. But this is somebody that you and your soul are co-creating together. Just letting me know, Scorpio. I don't know who this is. Let me know in the comments. But this is someone who you can be. To, what I'm hearing, Scorpio, is that this is somebody who comes into your life when you're going to be straightforward. You're going to be straight out, clear cut throat. You're not going to be paying so much attention to your emotions, like your feelings. You're going to be logical, okay? So you, Spirit just said you graduated that. You graduated having your voice be heard. And balancing your feelings with your um, with your logic, okay, your your reasoning when it comes to relationships, okay. I'm gonna see what's coming in with you, for you, and any advice, spirit. What do you want to tell Scorpio? Love, okay, and wise decision. Okay, so some of you are going to make a really wise decision in love. Okay, you're wiser now is what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Commitment. Okay, so there's definitely someone coming in, Scorpio. If the, you don't know who this person is, they are coming in. If you know this person, they are coming back. Okay, whatever it is that you made a decision about, you're going to be triumphant. Okay, and look, what did I say? Speaking your truth, being straightforward. So some of you, <clears throat> this person could have come in and there was so much passion between you two and you thought like this person, oh, they're just a player. They just want to mess around, whatever. And you told them like, hey, I'm not going to do this. They are really taking note of that and they respect that. So I feel like if that's your storyline, whoever this is, they're going to come back to you in a committed way because you stood your ground. You know, you spoke up, you spoke your truth, you were straightforward. You didn't pay attention to the fact that you find this person, you know, delicious or whatever, you know, you are, go you're using your your voice and your reasoning this time around. Spirit is commending you for that. Okay, Scorpio? So I hope this helped you. If it has, don't forget to like this video. And peace out, Scorpio.